Hello everyone. I wanted to show some papers that I dyed with avocado skins. Now I got all of this paper done, all of these little bits, all of these done with a single avocado. And it wasn't a very big one. It was um, medium to smallish size avocado. What's really cool about this is an avocado is dark green. And when you use the skin, you get this wonderful, wonderful peachy color. So, like I said, I just used one single avocado. And I cut it open and took out all the flesh and stuff and made guacamole, which was delicious. And I did put uh, the seed um, separate. You can use the seed. The seed will give you a different color. I didn't get a chance to do anything with the seed. I was just mainly focusing on the skin itself. So I washed the skin to make sure that there wasn't any of the avocado, the edible bit of the avocado left, and it was just skin. And then I broke up the the skin pieces into little littler pieces. All right. So then I decided um, that I wanted to do a bunch of papers and I did cut some book pages, some uh, drawing paper, some sketchbook paper, different kinds of papers. I cut them into these small uh, little bits. I wanted to make a book from the bits that I was dying. So I made pages is what I did. Said so I kept them all flat. They're fairly small. Uh, I did do two large-ish ones at the very, very end because I wanted something to cover the book, uh, the book cover with. So these were white papers and they turned out just a little bit more yellow than the peachy um, beige -y, uh, color that I started with. Anyway, excuse me, I have a cold, so um, I'm hoping not to, to get too stuffed up while I'm doing this. So I took a frying pan, a large frying pan, put just a little bit of water in, put the, the avocado skins in, and started simmering the water. And I put a few pieces of the paper in at a time just a few. I left the paper in for quite a long time. I would simmer the papers and let the water pretty much evaporate almost entirely. Uh, and then I would flip them over, move the avocado skins into different places, and add a little bit more water and bring it to a simmer again. Uh, where the water evaporated completely and the avocado skin was touching, that's where I got these really dark colors. And it is dyed in there. It's not anything that's on top. It is dyed. And that's how I got these dark colors, is that's where the avocado skin was touching the paper when the water evaporated. And I did this I'd spent the entire day doing these papers. I let the water evaporate completely, um, change out the papers, do some more. I let them dry naturally on a cookie sheet dryer thing. Um, it took a few days for them to dry out because they were completely boiled and completely wet. They are distressed a little bit for me trying to move them around, but that's kind of what I wanted. More, some of the papers are more distressed than others. They tore when I moved them, but I really like the looks of the distress, and I really like that. So that will happen when you're working with wet paper. It's going to, it's going to tear. It's going to creakle. It's going to not be the best. Uh, excuse me, I'm starting to really stuff up here. So that's what I did. I would do, you know, um, maybe. I would do about that many papers at one time. Let the water evaporate, turn the papers, move the avocado skins around so that they were touching different places. Let the water evaporate again, uh, add more water, um, 
take those out, put some other papers in, do the same thing. I only used one avocado and I used it over and over and over again. I would add more water, let the water evaporate, add more water, bring it to simmer, add more paper. Um, and I really like the way that the papers, the color turned out. Uh, it took a very long time to do, but the color is absolutely fabulous. And what I would like to do is take these papers and make a book with them. I am not sure if I want to stamp on them or just make the book for the papers themselves. Um, I'm still kind of going back and forth as, as to what I want to do. I'm thinking maybe some of these very distressed papers I'm just going to put together as a book just so that I have um, some of the papers that I made with the avocado skin and um, and not do anything else with them because I just love the way they look. They turned out so good. It did take me a full day. I'm talking eight, nine, ten hours of, of doing this, moving the papers to the drying rack and leaving them for a few days for them to dry out completely. So it did take some time, but I really like the results. So if you are so inclined, avocado skin, that's all I used. I didn't put any extra anything in. Avocado skins and water. Simmered, let it evaporate, moved it around, simmered it again, let it evaporate, move it around. Um, got some great results. Hope you try it. Thanks for watching.